Hi guys, it's Than from Tidal Gardens. One of my favorite corals is the Acanthophilia. If you've never heard of an Acanthophilia, it's not really too surprising. For years, these corals have been referred to as either Scolemia or Cyanarina. It was only reclassified lately to its own genus. As much as I like Acanthophilia, it happens to be one of the least popular of the large polyp stony corals, which never really quite made sense to me. First off, these corals come in a dazzling array of colors and patterns. I've seen just about every color combination, and what's really cool about them is their patterns. Some have distinct striping, while others have speckles across their bodies. In addition to their aesthetic qualities, Acanthophilia are one of the most resilient large polyp stony corals I've come across. They tolerate a wide range of tank conditions and rarely succumb to the sorts of problems that plague similar corals like Scalemia. Second, they do not have heavy demands in terms of lighting or flow. We tend to keep them under medium light, though they do very well at the bottom of the reef in low light. These corals seem to prefer medium to low flow as heavy flow seems to distress them. The side that is getting the most flow can look like it's getting forced up against the skeleton, which I don't think is such a good look. They seem healthiest when they're allowed to extend fully, and they do so in lower flow areas. Now, if you're like me and enjoy feeding corals, the Acanthophilia is one of the easiest corals to feed. They put on a dramatic feeding display when food is introduced and once they get the scent of just about anything in the water column, they open fully and extend their tentacles. Lately, we're feeding a lot of pellet foods, such as Fauna Marin LPS, but these corals are not picky in any way. Here, you can see a sequence where we fed this Acanthophilia a one inch piece of silver sides, which is kind of like a small sardine. The downside to this coral, from a Tidal Gardens company perspective, is the fact that they can't be propagated. It's possible to cut just about anything in half, but doing so to this type of coral would be extremely risky, and in the end you would have this half circle type shape that might never reform into a circular shape. Perhaps one day this hobby can progress to sexual reproduction of corals, but for now, unfortunately, propagation is out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like these corals as much as I do. You can check out these and other amazing corals at our website, tidalgardens.com. Thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest videos. Happy reefing.